Hey puzzle friends, how's it going? Welcome back, or if you're new, I'm Juby and welcome to my channel. This is a place for anyone who loves puzzles, whether you're new to puzzling or you consider yourself an expert. In today's video, we're gonna be going through all the puzzles that I got for the month of March. Uh, we have quite a mix here. We've got a lot of uh, brands that are new to me and we've got a lot of very fun and colorful and also some really interesting and quirky puzzles here too. So, in a sec, why don't you get yourself a snack, get a drink, get comfortable, and let's go through them all. Okay, so just like in other haul videos, I've sort of grouped uh, puzzles according to where I bought them from or where I got them from. And I guess as is tradition, it would seem, uh, let's go through the Amazon haul first. Um, also, I'm gonna try and get through everything a little bit faster today just because we have so many to get through. So yeah, let's, let's get to it. Um, so we've got here this cute little 750 piece Ravensburger one and I think it's called uh, Cute Crafters. Yep, I just had some really adorable cats and dogs getting up to all sorts of mischief in this sort of, I guess, someone's craft room. Um, yeah, I don't know, just thought it was a really cute and fun and colourful image and um, yeah, I just, I mean, it's Ravensburger so I know the quality is going to be pretty good. Um, it is a larger piece size and yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. Cute image and I know the quality will be good. So yeah, looking forward to that one. And then I grabbed myself another Seiko one. This is a 2000 piece one and it's called Perfect Cats. And yeah, it's just a very collagey, busy, colorful style puzzle. Um, I bought a sort of similar one, uh, I think last month, which was like a Christmas one, but I'm guessing it's by the same artist, which I'm not sure who that is because I don't think Seiko tend to really, as far as I can tell, publish the artist on the boxes. Um, oh, Laurie Norwin, maybe it could be the artist, but I'm not 100% sure. Anyway, it's a very cute uh, collage image. It's just, yeah, very kind of cutesy and cartoony and there's all sorts of uh, like knick cat like sort of cat paraphernalia knickknacks and um, like I don't know sort of cute cat titled books and actual cats and yeah it's just a whole lot of fun and it's a very sort of busy uh, like full of detailed type puzzle and yeah so definitely looking forward to that one I think it's going to be a lot of fun I really need to sort of I realize I've been buying a lot of Seiko puzzles lately and I haven't done very many, so I really need to sort of start doing them before grabbing a whole lot more because I've sort of um, heard from friends that, uh, you know, that the puzzle quality is kind of so-so and it's not always that great. So yeah, I, I think I need to start doing some of these ones soon, but hopefully the quality is okay. So we'll see, I guess. And then I saw this really interesting one called Western Scarves and it's 1000 pieces and I think it's by like a publishing company called uh, Gibbs, Gibbs Smith. So I think they must make books and things too. Um, but yeah, it's basically all these sort of vintage style like handkerchief scarves which all have like like you know uh, Western like cowboys and rodeo and Texas and New Mexico, like all that sort of cowboy st Western style kind of imagery and like places and stuff. But yeah, just, I don't know something about the sort of quirkiness or like uh, unusualness of it kind of caught my attention. I tend to gravitate towards some sort of very unusual puzzles sometimes. And this is one of them. I'm not necessarily a fan of Westerns or anything, or I don't dislike them, but um, you know, I just find something like this kind of interesting and quirky and I like the sort of kitschness of it, I guess. So yeah, I think this one's gonna be pretty fun to put together. And yeah, I don't think I've really tried this brand before. Maybe I have one or two puzzles by them, but um, I don't know, I can't recall specifically if I do or not. So yeah, definitely interested to see what the piece quality is like of this one. And then I found a very fun Springbok one to grab since I had quite a bit of fun doing the cake Springbok puzzle, which uh, I'll link that video up here. I'll put a whole bunch of videos in the cards if there's any puzzles 
uh, that I've made videos of recently. So yeah, this is a 1000 piece Springbok and it's called Cocktail Party. And um, I think it should be pretty fun and easy to do actually, because it's almost like mini puzzles since it's sort of made up of these squares of different, like basically they're different cocktails and it's sort of got the ingredients and like cute imagery for each one. So, you know, you've got Hurricane and the Mai Tai and Bahama Mama and yeah, all sorts of like very fun tropical cocktails. And it's got a lot of sort of, uh, sort of very, uh, again, very kitsch and vintage style imagery of like tiki mugs and Hawaiian themed things and tropical themed things. So yeah, I really kind of like that kind of imagery. So yeah, I really, uh, really glad I picked this one up. So looking forward to it. And then what else have we got? We've got these ones. We don't actually have too many from Amazon uh, this month, so it should be pretty quick to get through them. So um, I grabbed this Genuine Fred 1000 piece puzzle, um, which has been out for a, quite a while and it's called Lily Pads Explorer. And I've always just thought it's very pretty. Um, yeah, it's basically this sort of a boat and almost like a, yeah, I guess like the I don't know, this person sort of steering the boat through this like lovely river full of like, or lake full of like lily pads and lily flower. Is it lily flowers or are they like, I don't know. What do you, what do you call these flowers? I've like completely forgotten. They're not lilies, water lily, water lilies. Hey, there we go. Um, yeah, but I just thought it's, it's really pretty and it's sort of almost like, it might even be like almost like a block print style. So yeah, really beautiful. So very happy to have that quite enjoy the Fred quality. Um, yeah, and I've done quite a few of their puzzles and looking forward to, forward to this one as well. And then I've got a new brand here. Well, new to me, I should say it's called Lang and I have sort of seen them around um, before, but I've never tried it. So I'm excited to get a hold of this one. It's a 500 piece and let's see if I can find out what it's called. Um, Grandma's Quilt. And it just has this, you know, very uh, cute kind of cheeky looking kitty hiding among, I guess, grandma's very lovely quilt. Sort of looks like, almost looks a little guilty, like this cat knows it's not really meant to be sitting on this quilt, but it can't help itself because it's so comfy. Um, but yeah, I yeah, I don't know much about this brand. I've just sort of seen it floating around on Amazon and I thought I'd finally try it. Um, yeah, this puzzle was pretty inexpensive. So yeah, it's quite got, kind of got like a bit of weight to it too, actually. So don't know what the pieces are going to be like, but yeah, really, really interested. So yeah, very cute. And then the second last one from Amazon is a beautiful Amy Stewart puzzle. And this one's called A Mermaid's Treasure. And it's sort of recent, like I think it came out last year, but it, ever since I saw it, I've had it sitting on my wish list. Um, and yeah, I finally grabbed it. And, you know, of course it's like a lot of Amy Stewart puzzles, beautiful, rich colors and packed with detail and everything's just so beautiful, of course. But yeah, it's basically like, as the name describes, a, a mermaid's treasure. It's this mermaid in her like sort of cave or grotto. And she's just surrounded by like all these beautiful treasures and glistening knickknacks and crystals. And yeah, it looks, really just really beautiful and fun um so yeah really looking forward to doing that one and discovering all the really pretty details in it so yeah you know can't go wrong with an amy stewart i think and then the final one from amazon is this really fun one from gallison and it's called dog walk and it's 1000 pieces but it's a panoramic puzzle and it's just i i've seen it i saw it a while ago but um, I think it was like always out of stock or really expensive or something. But yeah, finally was able to grab it. And it just features like this sort of very uh, cartoony person walking all these dogs. And like the person's legs are really long and all the dogs are all different like breeds and colors and different fur and wearing different outfits and things and different colors. So yeah, it's really fun and colorful. And yeah, it just looks like a really, really cute puzzle. And I, I actually like that this one's panoramic. I think it's like really cool with the artwork. So yeah, really looking forward to that one. I think it's going to be quite a lot of fun to put together. I think they should do a panoramic cat one though as well. So 
you know, just my personal opinion. But yeah, I think this one's gonna be good fun. So the that's it from Amazon. So this next little pile I've got here is from an Australian company. I think they're just online. They might have a store. I think it's called Discount Toy Co. I think that's what it is. I'll put all the details of all the places I got puzzles from in the description below along with all the puzzles. So yeah, Discount Toy Co. Um, I picked up a whole bunch of Jekko puzzles. Um, so this first one is land and sea and it's 1000 pieces and yeah it's just really i'm gonna have to look at the tiny weeny image on the back so the only problem with jacko puzzles is they sort of just put some of the artwork on the front like the only sort of uh, whole image is like this teeny weeny one on the back so i'm gonna describe it to you as best as i can it's basically um yeah kind of well very colorful and yeah beautifully illustrated um almost looks like screen prints and things like that of like a lot of underwater animals or I guess fish and sea creatures so you got fish and turtles and things like that but you've also got like crocodiles and you even got I guess some birds here so you got an owl and a lion and what else um some sort of like other bird and you got some insects so yeah it seems like predominantly kind of underwater but then it's sort of thrown in these sort of other creatures as well but yeah it's really beautifully done and I'd sort of seen it around but I hadn't really taken a close look at it but then when I did I realized oh it's really nice like actually so yeah it was a these are all like quite a uh, affordable price so I decided why not grab it um, and I've been enjoying some of the Jekko ones I've done recently so yeah they've been really beautiful for some reason they do seem to make a lot of these panoramic ones um i kind of wish they'd make a few more kind of normal size ones because they do take up like a lot of space so i have to get out the the giant puzzle board to do them but but they're still worth it because they're you know always really beautiful and fun to do so another one i got from them is a 500 piece one called yokai um, and again this is panoramic basically a yokai you may know or you may not it's actually a Japanese word and it's sort of like is used to describe like a lot of sort of folk tale ghosts or demons or things like that. Like, you know, yokai tend to appear in a lot of like Japanese stories and legends and they're, some are good and some are bad, but they tend to be like, yeah, spirits or ghosts and things. So, and they take different forms and they all tend to have like some sort of story or something attached to them, um, you know, which sort of uh explains why they look the way they do but yeah so this is basically a puzzle which has these very sort of contemporary cute kind of quirky looking uh yokai on it all different weird and wonderful creatures and ghost type things um yeah some of them look like animals a bit and others look like strange sort of monsters and creatures um but yeah quite sort of yeah modern style and a bit more of a muted color palette um, but yeah still very kind of fun and interesting so yeah I thought I'd try that one out looks pretty cool and then I got a couple more from Jekko as well and then this one I think is fairly recent it's called Owls and Birds and pretty much oh 1000 pieces panoramic and as the name suggests it is basically a puzzle full of owls and birds and they're all like uh, yeah sort of all amongst the trees and there's a very suspicious looking owl and yeah just a whole mix of all different creatures um, I can actually see there's in the background like amongst sort of the forest I guess that there's actually some deer and a fox and rabbits so it's not just birds but I guess birds is the sort of prominent um, theme but yeah I just thought it's very beautifully illustrated and the colors are really nice and yeah just another beautiful Jekko one to do don't ask me when I'm gonna do them all but hopefully soon and then this one really caught my eye um, again I think it's sort of newish it's called leopard and 1000 pieces and again panoramic and it's just so really vibrant and graphic and I just really it really caught my eye I'm sure it, you can see why um, but yeah it's basically the whole panoramic puzzle is taken up by this sort of I guess stalking uh, leopard like it's 
sort of crouching and walking along. So yeah, the whole basically takes up the whole puzzle and then the background's like, yeah, I guess it's in the jungle. So the background is like plants and flowers and stuff. But yeah, I love this style. It's really cool. It's very funky and um, yeah, quite like almost a little bit kind of retro. But yeah, it's very graphic and very geometric. So yeah, really, really like it. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun doing this one. That's probably one of my favorites out of these that I grabbed. And then the last one I grabbed from Discount Toy Co is this very funny and cute Anatolian puzzle. It's 500 pieces and it's called, oh, what's it called? Oh, um, Mariachi Miausic. So like a, is that what do you call them? Mariachi, yeah, a mariachi band. So it's basically a mariachi band, but it's they're all cats. So it's it's stupid, but I couldn't resist. Just thought it was hilarious. Um, yeah, it's really cute. Oh, and uh, in front of the cats performing, there's a little like you know uh, seat, and it's got like all these mice in beautiful uh, costumes dancing with each other. So yeah, it's really. It's very whimsical and it's very cute and yeah, it's very silly and stupid, but couldn't resist because, well, yeah. So that's uh, it from those two. We've definitely got more to go through. So yeah, let's check out the next pile of puzzles. Okay, so this next lot of puzzles uh, is actually from quite a few different places. Uh, so yeah, I'll just we'll just go through them. So... Okay, we've got a bunch here from uh, another Australian online puzzle store called Mind Connect Australia. I mean, they sell a few other things too, but they do have a lot of puzzles and they have a really great selection, um, including a lot of international brands, which is very exciting. So they stock the uh, New Yorker or New York Puzzle Company puzzles. So this one I've, I have saw a while ago and I just thought was very funny. Um, this is a thousand pieces and it's called Lobsterman, Lobsterman Special. And yeah, it's basically um, pretty weird and quirky. It's basically these lobsters sitting around deciding what they want to eat for lunch, I guess. And there's a tank behind them instead of lobsters or fish being in the tank. It's got all these tiny little uh, scared naked humans. <laughs> Uh, swimming around so yeah it's a bit bit twisted uh, a bit of a twisted sense of humor I guess but yeah I, I really like the sort of vintage style of these lobsters I just think it looks really fun and yeah just quirky and a bit weird so yeah my kind of puzzle um, I've never done this brand before so I'm excited to try try them out and see what the quality is like I've, I've heard pretty good things so yeah definitely Definitely looking forward to this one. And then we've got this gorgeous uh, 1000 piece cord fade and it's by the brand Four Point Puzzles. And this has been one of the ones on my sort of puzzle brand wish list. Um, I think it's a Canadian company actually. But yeah, this one looks gorgeous. It's basically this sort of very like abstract, almost looks like a someone's uh, you know squeezed out toothpaste from a tube and it's all this sort of beautiful kind of gradient but and this sort of like weird 3d shape but yeah it's like quite interesting and just really appeals to me just really like it it's yeah very pleasing to look at um, so yeah really excited to be doing this one soon and I'm planning to make a video on it and try to try out this brand for the first time so yeah I guess stay tuned for that and then another new brand, which I'm really excited to try out is Magnolia Puzzles. And I'm probably gonna do a video on this one as well. So this first one from them is called, uh, I think it's the, Queen. oh yeah, The Queen's Gambit. So like the sort of Netflix show, I guess. And yeah, it just sort of features the main character and her chess pieces. And it's quite sort of uh, beautiful, quirky artwork with like her, big sort of anime eyes and yeah I just thought it's like quite a striking image and I really enjoyed the show so yeah definitely uh, keen to try this and I've heard really good things about Magnolia uh, puzzles so yeah I think I'm definitely gonna do a video on this one um, yeah excited to try it so yeah 
And then this other magnolia one I grabbed is this beautiful 1000 piece, uh, it's just called Colorful Butterfly. And that's exactly what it is, just this lovely sort of paint splattered, colorful rainbow butterfly. So yeah, I just thought that looks just really fun and yeah, just beautiful and colorful and vibrant. So pretty straightforward. The other thing I thought was cool is Magnolia puzzles have like a little difficulty level rating here out of five stars. So this is three and I think that one, the other one was four. So yeah, I think that's kind of a neat thing to sort of include on your puzzles. Yeah, so yeah, definitely looking forward to trying out those two and seeing, uh, you know, if all the fuss is worth it. I hope so. Definitely heard some really good things. And then I also grabbed this one from Mind Connect Australia, which is just a 500 piece one from Cloudberries called Breakfast. And it's been out for quite a while, but um, I've always just thought it was a really fun one. Also quirky. I feel like I've, there's a lot of very quirky, unusual puzzles in this haul. So yeah, it's quite weird where it looks like someone's been in a rush and has sort of like upset, upended their breakfast everywhere with the coffee and baked beans flying and yeah, so I've actually already done this one. I had, yeah, I just sort of did it recently and had fun doing it. And it was a little bit challenging actually, but yeah, definitely good fun. So yeah, glad I grabbed that one. Um, and then next, so many to choose from. Um, let's do these three. So I've got three here from, I believe it's an Australian company called Bespoke Letterpress and they, don't just do puzzles, they do like a lot of sort of paper goods and like notebooks and stuff and letterpress objects, so like I guess cards and things like that. And they always have some very beautiful patterns and designs. So they had a sale recently, so I took that as an opportunity to grab some of their gorgeous puzzles. So these are all 1000 piece and this one's called Pool Girls. And yeah, just this beautiful, like very summery, colorful uh, image of these girls or women laying about relaxing on their sort of giant floaties in this lovely looking pool. So one's on like a watermelon floaty, one's on a flamingo and they've got really cute bathers on and it's sort of got this lovely border of like mm. tropical plants and flowers and even their like little uh, like deck chairs and things or like sunbathing chairs by the pool. So yeah, very fun and quite unusual and different. Um, yeah, very pretty. I guess there's, I'll, I'll definitely pop images up on the screen for any puzzles that are a bit hard to see. So I might end up putting one of this up there. So yeah, but really pretty. Definitely glad I grabbed that one. Um, also, I've never tried uh, bespoke letterpress before, so I have no idea what the quality is like. Um, I hope it's nice because the images are really beautiful. And then this next one is just sort of this lovely, uh, very pretty plants and fruit pattern. And what's it actually called? Oh, summer fruits. Well, that makes sense. So yeah, it's basically got beautiful flowers and like passion fruit, um, strawberries, blueberries, um, and then lemons, like yeah, all sorts of beautiful uh, plants and fruits and things. So yeah, just a very pretty, sort of pattern. Um, yeah, definitely looking forward to this one as well. And then the last one from them is a fairly new one, which I just thought was really lovely. Um, this one is called Wonder Garden Budgies. So I don't know if you call them that where you are. Budgies are like budg budgery guards. Those birds that you have as a pet. I'm like, I even had some as a kid and I'm like, what are they actually called? We just call them budgies here in Australia. But yeah, they're these, yeah. So this is a puzzle with lots of budgies on it and different colored ones with their, you know, blues and greens and their cute little black and white kind of spotty feathers and things. So yeah, very cute. And then there's all these sort of, it's sort of like a whole pattern. And then there's like, uh, like, what else is there? Passion fruit flowers and passion fruit fruits and different insects. Like I can see snails and beetles, caterpillars, butterflies. Yeah, it's a very busy and very pretty sort of pattern or image of all this stuff going on. But yeah, I just thought it was really beautiful. So yeah, all, all three of these puzzles were just lovely, I think. So yeah, 
Um, so definitely looking forward to trying out this brand. I guess let me know if you're interested in, in seeing a video on it. I wasn't planning on it, but I don't know. I You might be able to sway me. We'll see. Okay, and then we don't have too many left from these companies, but we do have a whole bunch more to go after this as well. Um, okay, so then I grabbed a couple of puzzles from another Australian company called booktopia.com.au. Um, so as the name suggests, they tend to sell a lot of books, but they sell puzzles and things too. So they actually sell art and fable puzzles. They don't have a big selection, but I was able to grab this one that I've been eyeing off for a while, which is the Mantis Mundi uh, puzzle at 1000 pieces. And this is actually my first ever art and fable puzzle. So I'm very excited to get a hold of it. And I am definitely doing a video on this very soon. And yeah, I just love the artwork. Um, it's just gorgeous. It's just packed with all these sort of very kind of strange and unusual insects and kind of creatures like lizards and like beetles and yeah, like a lot of different lizards and things and there's all plants, but some of them have like strange kind of features on them. So some of them don't look quite normal, I guess. But yeah, it's a very busy image and it's very, very detailed, but I really love the style of it. And I've heard so many wonderful things about Art and Fable, including how nice the pieces are. So yeah, I'm really, really excited to get a hold of this and I'm like dying to do it. So yeah, I can't wait to do a video on this one. Um, but yeah, I'm just, yeah, I don't know, excited to do this one. And then the other puzzle I got from the same website is another one that's actually been out for quite a while and you've probably seen it. This one's 299 cats and a dog and there's, you've probably seen that there's another one that's like lots of dogs and a cat. Um, I don't know why it's taken me this long to get a hold of it, but I sort of finally caved and got it. I just, every time I see someone do it online, I always think it looks really fun and just silly and cute. Um, but yeah, it's basically, I guess there's a better image here, sort of this circular shaped cluster of comical cats and then one dog I think the dog's like in the center somewhere I don't know can't quite see it but yeah it's just all these like fun cute kind of uh, very stylized uh, silly looking cats doing all sorts of weird things um, yeah and it's really colorful and just looks really fun to do so yeah it's just I mean such a small piece count so I don't think it'll be too challenging and could be just a fun little afternoon puzzle snack to do. So we only have a few more left in this stack. Um, so I've got a couple of puzzles here that I actually swapped with a friend. So I've been doing that a little bit lately where we just do a permanent puzzle swap where we give each other a puzzle or two each and in exchange for something from their collection. So um, I was swapped this one, which is a thousand piece Ravensburger one called Road Trip USA. And this one's actually fairly old, it's 2010. So I haven't actually seen this design before. So that's pretty exciting to get a hold of one that I haven't like done or seen. And yeah, it's basically um, all those like really cool uh, kind of postcards that have like the place name on it in like the big letters and with the images in them. Um, so it's like, yeah, it's sort of like a collage of like place names and like sort of like postcards and stickers and things like that. So it's like, you know, you've got, I don't know, Fargo, Las Vegas, Yellowstone Park, um, Tucson, New York, uh, like Boulder. Uh, so yeah, all different places across the US. But yeah, I really like the sort of vintage vibes it's got and I love those sort of travel, like that sort of travel imagery. I think it's really fun. Um, yeah, so I think this one will be really good fun to put together. So I'm glad I was able to swap for that one. And she also gave me this cute little, uh, I think it's a 100 piece imposter puzzle and it's just called Letters. And uh, I don't know how difficult it's gonna be. It's basically all these like black and white letters and I've never done one of these, but I just thought it looked really cute. And yeah, she was kind enough to just gift me this one. So. Yeah, looking forward to, I don't know, when, one day when I'm feeling brave, popping this little one together. So yeah, very cute. 
And then these last two, so I've got this one here, which is a Gawson, and I actually got this one from a book depository. And I think it's kind of new. I don't know if there's a date on this. Do, 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 I don't know. Uh, pressure, find a date. No, no date, but I think it's fairly new. It's called Intergalactic Flora. And so, of course, it's a beautiful sort of flora puzzle or flower puzzle, I should say, with this sort of space sort of universe galaxy kind of look behind it like stars and looks like yeah these beautiful flowers floating in space but the one thing that makes it very uh beautiful is all this sort of gold foiling so in the background all the stars and like moon and constellations are all done in gold foil and it looks really pretty so yeah really glad to sort of grab this one i think it's going to be a very beautiful one to put together don't know if I mentioned it, but it's a thousand pieces. Um, but yeah, I think it's gorgeous. So this is the full image on the back. Um, yeah, so very pretty. And yeah, I think I'm gonna enjoy that one. And then this last one, I've just got the lid here because I'm actually working on this one. Um, it's going on my Instagram if you're interested in seeing it at all. And this one is actually from the MCA Australia, which is the Museum of Contemporary Art. And they did sort of a collaboration circular puzzle with the artist Doug Atkin and he sort of got us um, they had like an exhibition of his work out recently and this particular one I think it's from like his Aperture series and it's called Earthwork and yeah it's basically this lovely or this very sort of stunning or breathtaking photo of this gorgeous blue sky and then all these sort of different colors of the earth like it's sort of kind of I don't I, I think he's a an American uh, artist so this might have been taken in the US um, but it sort of makes me think of like one of those like national parks in the US that are very you know like where the Grand Canyon is somewhere like that and it's got all these beautiful different tones of earth colors um, so it's actually a bit different to what I'd usually do because normally I go for crazy colorful things but yeah they offered to send it to me and try it out and yeah I just thought it looked really interesting and so far I'm really enjoying it so yeah the quality is not bad and the image is really nice um, so yeah definitely enjoying that one so I guess you know if you're interested in sort of photography or more art style kind of puzzles definitely check them out they have other uh, puzzles available in their shop as well so yeah definitely enjoying that one at the moment so that's not it <laughs> that's it for that stack but we do have one more stack to go through and then we'll be done we're finally up to the last stack of puzzles, I, I promise. Um, so let's go through these Gibsons ones here, um, which I grabbed from the Gibsons website when they were having a spring sale. Um, I'll go through these ones really quick because I did actually do a haul video on them really recently, which will be linked up in the cards as well. So I got a bunch of 1000 piece ones, sort of some older, some kind of recent and some really recent. So this one is Avocado Park and it's basically like a sort of big avocado challenge where's wally type puzzle all these like comical cartoony avocados that are you know having fun doing all different activities on their day out in the park there's like you know some of them playing soccer some are playing on like these swings and the slides some are having a picnic yeah just all sorts of fun different activities but i think it looks pretty challenging i think it'll be fun to do but yeah i think it'll be quite difficult um but yeah, glad I picked that one up. And then a really beautiful Gibson's one called Paper Flowers, which I think has been out for quite a while. Um, yeah, just really love this sort of gorgeous uh, kind of collage. Well, it's not really a collage. I guess it's a photo of all these like uh, paper flowers and leaves. And then there's also a mix of like real fruits and other plants in there. So it's a really gorgeous sort of image in total and I really like the colors of it and yeah I just always thought it was really pretty so really glad to grab a hold of that one and then another very comical one which I've always thought was hilarious is called, called pigeons of Britain and yeah it's basically all these very comical uh very it's a very whimsical puzzle of these pigeons dressed up as sort of very British icons you know you've got the queen and you've got different uh, singers and band members and sports stars and yeah and all different uh, paraphernalia like that sort of 
goes along with those different characters. So yeah, I think this one's going to be a lot of fun to put together. I don't think it'll be too tricky. Um, yeah, it's quite colourful and very distinct. So yeah, I think it'll just be really good fun to do it. And then the this next one is a really gorgeous puzzle called Perfect Plants. Um, and it just features all these, uh, this sort of lovely, I guess, pattern or design of these cute cats amongst all these lovely plants. And it has a very sort of vintagey retro kind of color scheme. And yeah, I actually did this one in the recent video. So definitely check that out. Um, yeah, I just thought it's really pretty. I can almost see this being like a really cool wallpaper. So yeah, really enjoyed this one. Loved the colors and the imagery, very beautiful. And then this next one, which I'm actually planning to do very soon, is called A World of Life. I think this one's been out for a while too. And it's uh, it's a map puzzle, which I normally don't really love that much, even though I recently discovered I actually have quite a few maps, uh, puzzle maps in my collection. So anyway, uh, this one's really pretty. It's like sort of a very vintage style map and it has all this sort of lovely kind of collage imagery going on around the edges and even over top. Some of it's very sort of vintage Victoriana type images and there's plants and flowers and hot air balloons and things. But yeah, it's just really pretty. Um, yeah, always just really caught my eye and really looking forward to putting this one together soon. So probably on Instagram. So I guess keep an eye out for it. And then this, I, oh, no, there's one more 1000 piece that I got from Gibson's. This one is the Puzzle of Positivity and you've probably seen this one around online. It's a really fun and colorful and comical uh, puzzle. And um, yeah, it's just got all these beautiful colors and cute little characters that have like very positive, um, happy anecdotes, you know, to kind of, you know, uh, spur you on and give you positive vibes and yeah it's just it's really fun and cute and um yeah i've seen a lot of people do this one and i always thought it looked really a uh, really good fun to do so glad to have it in my collection now and then i got a couple other little ones from gibson's as well so you might have seen me do this one in my recent video and it's called tropical this one's only 500 pieces and it's a circular puzzle and yeah, I really enjoyed doing this one too. Uh, it's a little bit different quality than the 1000 pieces, but still very enjoyable and just has this beautiful tropical image of colorful plants, flowers, birds, insects. So yeah, very, very uh, gorgeous and fun to do. And another very fun one to do, which was also had a sneak peak appearance at the end of that video is this fun Pringles one from Gibson's and it's just a cute little double sided uh, 250 piece puzzle from them just has the stack of chips on one side and the outside packaging on the other um, not the greatest quality ever but just a really fun simple little puzzle sort of makes for a fun novelty gift or something to have on your desk at work something like that so yeah still just good fun to do and then we have three more puzzles left. These are not from Gibson's. These were all from, I ordered them from an online Australian company called The Nile, like the river in Egypt, but they sell um, books and puzzles and toys and a whole bunch of random stuff. But uh, this brand of puzzles is called Paper Blanks. And I haven't done any from this particular brand or publisher before. Um, so I'm not too sure, but I did see someone doing a couple of these on Instagram and they seemed to be pretty happy with them. Um, so the first couple are by the same artist who's Android Jones. And um, this first one's called Humming Dragon and it's 1000 pieces. It's quite a heavy, st sturdy box as well. Um, yeah, it's just a beautiful sort of very abstract modern dragon. And I just was really drawn to the colors of it and the sort of patterns and yeah, it's quite sort of a very interesting image. Like it's a sort of a lot of really abstract sort of patterns and things going on in it. Um, but yeah, so, but yeah, it's also still quite distinctly sort of a uh, like Eastern style dragon. But yeah, I just thought it was really beautiful and decided to try this brand out because it was actually fairly affordable, like affordable, uh, all these three puzzles. So yeah, definitely looking forward to seeing what these, this paper blanks, brand is like and you know and 
if I'm going to enjoy it. And yeah, but it's also quite nice um, because it actually tells you, has a nice blurb on the back about the artist and the artwork and everything. So yeah, definitely think this one, yeah, it looks really interesting. So, and then another one by the same artist, uh, this one's called Dharma Dragon. And it's also sort of uh, very like kind of looks like some sort of Indian or Eastern style goddess, um, but it's also quite futuristic looking and has a lot of these sort of interesting patterns and abstract things going on and has even has like dragons in the background. And yeah, it's really beautiful, like quite a stunning image. And I've seems like this artist sort of produces other things too, not just puzzles, but I hadn't heard of them before, but yeah, I just think their, their art style is really beautiful. And then this one's by a different artist, but it's also 1000 pieces. Um, this one's called Madame Butterfly. And I'm not too sure who the artist is. I don't know if we're going to find out. Oh, um, Benjamin Lacombe, it's a French author and illustrator. So yeah, again, it has a little blurb on the back. I should have looked there first. But yeah, this is yeah just a beautiful sort of take on Madame Butterfly. This lovely sort of tranquil image of this woman or girl with her eyes closed and just sort of letting all these butterflies cover her. And yeah, she's sort of, you can tell she's got like a kimono on underneath. And yeah, it's sort of a more muted color scheme, but um, still has all these sort of vibrant blues with the butterflies. And yeah, it's just a very beautiful image. So yeah, really looking forward to trying out that brand. Um, I'm hoping they're good quality. If the weight is anything to go by, maybe it is. Um, anyway, so that is everything for the month of March. Uh, all the puzzles that I managed to haul, which is quite a lot. Um, I feel like we sort of have a whole lot of interesting brands here. Some new to me, like quite a lot of uh, brands here that I've never tried before. So that's really exciting and quite a lot of unusual and quirky and interesting puzzles in this sort of month's haul. Um, so yeah, let me know in the comments below, what did you think of this haul? Have you done some of these puzzles or puzzle brands? Are there any here that, you know, are on your wish list that you'd like to try? Uh, yeah, so in the comments below, let me know your thoughts and yeah, what you thought of all this. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can keep up to date with all things puzzles. And for even more puzzle content, you can check me out over on Instagram at jigsaw underscore juby. Thanks so much and see you next time. Bye.